Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at a general concept of projectile motion. Let's say that we have a small object with mass m that's being shot at starting at a some initial height y sub naught and at some angle with some initial velocity v sub naught. How do we describe that motion using vector notation? Well first of all we start with the equation f equals ma where the force is a vector and the acceleration is vector. Well, in this case, the force is the force of gravity, which is equal to the weight of the object. So we can say that the force is going to be equal to minus the weight in the j direction, minus because it's acting in a downward direction. And the weight can be described as the mass times acceleration due to gravity, with g being 9.8 meters per second squared. So we can write the force equals mass times acceleration in the j direction, like that. Now, if we want to express the velocity of that motion, and of course the velocity would be the total velocity, the velocity caused by the acceleration plus the initial velocity added together, we can then say that the velocity can be described as being the integral of the acceleration, just like we saw in the previous video. And since the acceleration can be described as minus g in the j direction, we can replace the acceleration by just that, minus g in the j direction, times dt, so we can integrate it. And if we integrate, we get minus gt in the j direction plus some constant of integration, realizing that the constant of integration will probably be in vector format. So what is that constant of integration? Well, this means the initial velocity when t is equal to zero, which is the velocity that we have right here, the initial velocity of the object. So we, for, to get the total velocity, we get the velocity from the portion where we integrate the acceleration plus the initial velocity when the object starts out at v sub naught. So we have a minus g times t in the j direction plus v initial. Notice when t is equal to zero, this term disappears and the velocity is simply equal to the initial velocity, which is what we expect. Now we also want to find the position vector. The position vector is going to be the integral of the velocity vector, and of course this is going to be the velocity vector right there, so we plug it in here times dt. When we integrate, we get minus gt squared over 2 in the j direction, plus v initial times t, plus some constant of integration. So that would be the initial position of the object. Now in the x direction, the initial position is 0, but in the y direction, the initial position is y sub naught. So our initial position is going to be y sub naught in the j direction. And so now we have the position vector has this component due to the acceleration, this component due to the initial velocity, and this component due to the initial position. Combining this and this, because they're both expressed in terms of the j direction, we have minus gt squared over 2 plus y sub naught in the j direction plus the initial velocity times t. And that would then be a general way of, of, of explaining or describing using vector notation projectile motion in two dimensions. And that's how it's done.